Good afternoon, students. It's Sunday, and I'd like to welcome you to the classroom in my living room. I thought I would explain this week's work because it's a little different. So this week, you're going to be writing a short answer response. And for obvious reasons, there's no ICE journal. You don't need to submit a graphic organizer before. There's no vocabulary commitment, and you only need two quotes. It's due on Wednesday, and you can submit it on Canvas or on uh, MUFSD. On um, our Zoom session on uh, Tuesday, if you have questions about the short answer response, you certainly can ask me. Uh, so let me just talk a little bit about what, um, what, what is involved with this short answer response. So you know last week on the 21st was Holocaust Remembrance Day. And I was, I was looking over some of the articles that were written about the Days of Remembrance on the website for the United States Memorial Holocaust Museum. And Dana Weinstein, who's one of the researchers for the museum, she wrote this beautiful article. And in the article, she, she wrote about how lessons of the Holocaust are timeless, and they teach us the importance of recognizing our common humanity. And that word humanity, um, you know, just sort of staying with me and the importance of our solidarity. During the days of, re of remembrance, we affirm our commitment to preserving the legacies. That's another important word that, you know, staying with me these days, humanity, our legacy. So we're preserving the legacies of those who were murdered and also those who inspired the world to confront hatred, prevent genocide, and promote human dignity. And that brought to mind another great being by the name of Malala. So I provided an excerpt for you from her autobiography called I Am Malala. And so you're going to write about uh, her journey uh, uh, to become a great being and the things that happened to her. Okay, so that's the first assignment. The second assignment is a study guide that I posted for chapters eight and nine. And chapters eight and nine are, uh, I think, pretty important. There's a shift in the plight of the Jewish people living in Warsaw. And in chapters eight and nine, Jerry Spinelli depicts the forces for light and the forces for darkness. The force for light is the depiction of the great being, Dr. Janusz Korczak. And I know many of you wrote about him on your research paper. Janusz Korczak was a, a writer. He wrote children's books. He was a teacher. He was a doctor. He was born in Warsaw. He, um, he ran an orphanage that was on the border of the, the ghetto, uh, the walled off uh, part of uh, the city and and uh, uh, in Warsaw proper, and he saved many Jewish children's lives and brought them dignity. And um, and he died in 1942 in the Treblinka concentration camp uh, with the orphans who went with him to that concentration camp. He was offered um, an opportunity to save his life, and he 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 denied it. He went to the gas chambers with his with his children. So we meet him in uh, in chapter, I think it's in chapter eight. And the force for dark takes place in the form of um, stop thief or Misha at this point, standing by and watching the night of broken glass or um, crystal nacht. It took place on November 9th, the night of November 9th in Warsaw and in other cities throughout Europe, in Germany. And it was a uh, an action, it's called a pogrom, uh, very violent in which Nazis and citizens took yellow paint and painted Jewish stars, the, the you know Star of David on the storefronts of stores that were owned by Jews and also wrote the word Juden or a Jew in yellow paint, and then they humiliated uh, many of the Jewish people, you know, who were um, in their stores at that time. And so that's the force for for darkness and hatred. And those are the the two main themes in chapters eight and nine, which we will discuss. So I'm going to provide a video for you tomorrow for um, chapter eight 
and then another one, chapter nine, uh, the following day. And then we can discuss all of these, all of these important topics and the short answer response during our Zoom sessions on Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, so have a good day and uh, be well, and I look forward to seeing you on Zoom. Bye.